And your name is? Mohan Mudiganda. Your occupation? GP practice manager. And your chosen subject? The Fall and Rise of Reginald Perrin. Wonderful 1970s sitcom. Here we go. Two minutes. What animal does Reginald Perrin instinctively bring to mind whenever his mother-in-law is mentioned? Hippopotamus. Yep. Reggie's train between his home and his office at Sunshine Desserts is invariably late because of a series of events that often involve staff shortages. In the first series, it's consistently late by how many minutes? Eleven. Yes. Reggie has to give a speech to members of the British Fruit Association on the subject, are we getting our just desserts, but gets drunk beforehand and makes a fool of himself. What's the name of the venue where he makes the speech? Bilberry Hall. Yep. What's the name of Reggie's forthright uncle, whom he invites to the dinner party without dinner, which he hosts for several work colleagues while his wife Elizabeth is visiting her sick mother? Percy Spillinger. Yeah. After Reggie's sacked from Sunshine Desserts, he gets a new job looking after pigs. Which character says of the appointment, industry's loss is the porker's gain? CJ. Yes. In series two, Reggie decides to open a shop called Grot and asks for a start-up loan from his boss, CJ, who believes that Reggie is blackmailing him and gives him the money without any haggling. How much money? £30,000. Yep, Reggie's grot shop stocks useless products such as heat-resistant saucepans, elastic tow ropes and mouse traps made entirely of cheese. Some of the best-selling items are the paintings of the Algarve done by his dentist. What's the dentist's name? Dr. Snurd. Yep, in Series 3, Reggie opens Perrins, a community for the middle class and the middle aged who are looking for peace and happiness. Which fictional suburb is the location of Perrins? Botchley. Yep. McBlain, the chef at Perrins, is featured on the front page of a fictional national newspaper after he's attacked a Salvation Army member with a meat cleaver for trying to sell him a copy of War Cry. What's the title of the paper? Uh, the Daily Blurb. The Daily Gunge. Reggie appears on a fictional television current affairs series hosted by Honeydew Sheridan and admits that he started Grot as a joke. He recommends that viewers switch over to BBC Two for a Swedish film at the end of his interview. What's the title of the series? The World Tomorrow Today. Correct. Reggie's brother-in-law, Jimmy, regularly expresses a wish to front a private army against what he sees as the permissive society. Which actor plays Jimmy? Jeffrey Palmer. Yep. After Reggie assumes the identity, I'm started off, finish, of his old friend, Martin Welburn, and pays a visit to Elizabeth, she sees through his disguise and serves him food and drink that she knows Reggie would dislike. What dish does she serve him after his dry martini? Mutton casserole. Is correct. Um... No passes. Mind you've got 11 points.